So now we're getting ready for the waistband. On the full folds, one, the left side of the waistband is shorter than the right side of the waistband. If you've had your zipper come in from the other direction, then you'll need to swap those. The pattern is going to tell you to interface only half of this waistband. I like, if my fabric is not super thick denim, I like to interface both sides just because uh, it adds structure and keeps my waistband looking pretty. Make sure that the rough bumpy side of a uh, fusible interfacing is towards the fabric. Make sure that your interfacing is the closest thing to the iron and yet you never have your interfacing touch your iron. So I'm gonna put a press cloth in between and I'm just gonna adhere my interfacing for a couple of seconds to get it nice and fused to the waistband. And then I'm gonna attach my waistbands at the center back to make them one big long strip. Okay, so right sides together. You can see one is shorter than the other. That's because it has to go all the way to the end of the zipper shield. So I'm just gonna attach them right here at the center back. And then I'm not going to finish this seam because I want it to lay flat and even. Instead, I'm going to have it pressed open so that I don't have a bump in the back of my waistband. And then I'm going to fold my waistband in half and press it. So wrong sides together. Just like it would be constructed. Make sure it doesn't warp and twist so I'm going to make sure I press it at the center back in the middle at the edge and then come back and catch all the places in between and then I'll do the other side one side I've already done the middle I mean the center back so I'm going to do the middle then I'm going to catch all the places in between Now, I like to finish the ends of my waistband just like I do the pocket hems. I like to have them sewn inside out and finished here. But first, I'm going to check fit on the pants before I do that. 